Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today for another video. Um, I haven't painted in several days. I have been reorganizing my studio. I rearranged it. Um, so that took me a little while, <laughs> as you can imagine. But anyway, I'm back to painting um, in a much more organized environment, so yay. I hope everybody's having a great week. Um, and thank you again, like I said, for joining me. We are going to do a Dutch pour. I've already um, put the base coat down, which is obviously black. This is a 15 by 30 inch gallery wrapped canvas. And I'm doing a monochromatic color palette. So I've got white, um, silver, and some gray. Now I know that black and white is gonna give me gray, but I'm gonna use this anyway. So those are my three colors with the black base. Um, I may put a little bit of black in it, I'm not sure. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and then go down here with my pattern. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I have not popped the air bubbles in my, there's something right there. Get that out. Go ahead and pop the air bubbles in my base. Like I said, I'm just using monochromatic colors, black, white, gray, and then put some silver in there. And I'll put all the colors as well as the brands in the description with my pouring medium. So I'm gonna start with the white. Like I said, I'm gonna get here. Just to give a little bit different design than I normally do. I'm gonna come over just a hair more. Okay. All right, here we go. So there's my white and my silver. Go right on top of the white. There we go. All right. I thought about putting red in this, but I decided not to. Um, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of black on this, just a little bit. Let's see, just a hair. Okay, and I'm gonna put my gray. And I think I'm gonna do the gray like this. And this may give me a little bit different gray color than just the black and white mixed. Um, so I should get some variations in gray. I'll go ahead and pop the air bubbles in my colors. Okay, my torch has been sticking lately. I'm gonna use my small blow dryer and I'm gonna blow it out. little bit of black. It's not wanting to move very well. So I'm going to go ahead and add some black over here too, just to help it move along. It's not wanting to move very well. There we go. Not a problem. Ooh, with the reaction I'm getting. Same thing over here.
Wow, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Got a lot of reaction going on here. This is gorgeous up here. Gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna blow a little bit here and here. Persistent slightly in route in here. Bring that one off. And I am, this is what was having trouble a second ago. I had a little black. Let's see if I can't blow some of that off. my noggin. <laughs> oh, it's really pretty. Very simple. Need some silver up here. I kind of lost a little bit of the silver. Just want to add a little bit. Add a little bit of white. All right, I'm going to blow that. Okay, I like it. I love the simplicity of it. Black and white with some gray and silver. I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna bring you down for a close-up. Okay, right, here's the overall piece. I went ahead and turned my lights out. So I wanted to show you how beautiful this is going to be. I love all the cells. There's some gorgeous veining throughout. Really pretty. Lots of details. Black, that's so pretty right there. It's gorgeous. Black, white, silver, and gray. Yeah, lots of details. Sometimes it's hard when I'm trying to video to show you everything that's going on because it's so far away, but that's why I wonder, that's pretty. Show you the close-up. I really like the way this one turned out. Give me your thoughts, give me your comments. I'd appreciate it uh, below. Uh, thank you again for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And as always, you have a great day. Bye.